I'm Rick, and this is my story. Well, I grew up in Cincinnati in the projects. My dad drove truck, and my mom stayed at home and took care of the kids. I was the youngest of 11. It was tough back then. I wore a lot of hand-me-downs. One of the memories that I can't get out of my head is the smell of alcohol and drugs in our home. I had no idea the impact it would have on my life. I was 12 years old the first time I tasted alcohol. I would wait till my dad went to sleep and I started sneaking his beer and cigarettes. At first the taste would gross me out and then I started to enjoy it. They took away the pain that my mom was dishing out to the family. A couple years later, I tried cocaine for the first time. I had no idea the 13 year nightmare I was gonna be on. For seven days a week, alcohol, drugs, cocaine. I was feeding this demon inside of me. Family meant nothing, friends meant nothing. I dropped out of school. I was working 100% for the devil. I was 20 years old when me and my first wife got married. We were married for 13 years. We only lived together for 30 days because at that time I was so consumed with feeding the demon inside of me, I couldn't be true to her. I was flopping around, living from home to home, living on the streets. And out of the 13 year marriage, we had four sons. And I'm ashamed to say, I know none of them and they don't know me. I was 26 or 27 years old. I was totally separated from my wife. I got a summons to go to court. I was so far behind on child support that they kept me. I had no idea that I would be going to prison. I remember being in shackles and they were taking me to the bus as I sat down. Jesus said, don't worry, you won't be there long. A second later, God said, I want you to tell them about my son. I get to prison and I heard things and I saw things that I don't really talk about, but I was thankful to God it didn't happen to me. I meet three other brothers from Ohio and we formed a quartet and we were singing hymns to the Lord. And I found out that you can't have joy in the belly of the beast. It's 2002, I'm out of prison, I'm clean and sober, my divorce is final. God blessed me with a new wife. I met Stephanie in our former home church. We have two beautiful sons. I've published four books which helped me tell my story by the grace of God. My story is not over. <laughs>